know what you're wondering. Who's this beardy prick with the easel? I'm not a Rolf Harris tribute act. <laughs> the work's dried up on that the last few years. <laughs> there we go. Can you all see that? You guys down there can't, can you? Bollocks. Fine. Don't worry, this is my own time I'm wasting. Oh, now you guys can't see it. This isn't part of the act. This is just me being shit at DIY and preparation. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, yeah, I'm Adam Tumber. I've uh, come over from there to be here tonight. Um, I, uh, I, I'm actually based in Leeds. Uh, it's my second time here at Art Water. I love coming here. I find you guys are an amazing audience. Uh, so uh, having bigged you up, I hope to get some love back from you in a second. Um, I, I, I've got a busy week in, 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 uh, lined up ahead. Um, I've got to change my dentist this week. Uh, the uh, last straw for me was when I asked him about veneers. He asked me whether I wanted birch or pine. <laughs> That's a good hack one to start, isn't it? Um, I, I have another thing you need to know about me, I've got a couple of kids, so I have this kind of drawn look to me that, that basically tells you I've not slept in seven years. Um, I, 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 in fairness, it's great having kids. Anyone else here got kids? Uh, that's the kind of cheer that I expect from people with kids. The best thing about having kids, best thing without a shadow of a doubt, is the fact that I know that there are at least two compatible organ donors out there. Uh, <laughs> I, I bought them a Spot the Dog the other day. Uh, wasn't impressed at all. Really obvious where he was on every page. <laughs> Let that one sink in. Um, the other thing you need to know about me, my job, um, which is about as exciting as it sounds, is a data analyst. Um, yeah, that's the kind of stunned silence that I like to hear. It's the stunned silence I get at work when I suggest anything. Um, I, also, I also run my own company. I, I kind of, I, I'm a contractor, basically, so I run my own company, which, again, much less exciting than it sounds. But it does mean that this handsome motherfucker yeah, has been employee of the month 33 months in a row now. I have 33 of these up on my wall at home. <laughs> if I stand still long enough, the kids don't know which one to talk to. <laughs> I should have known about that still before. Um, yeah, so um, I, I don't have a great deal of free time. I've only just finished making a murderer. Um, I made a Harold Chipman out of balsa wood. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like how that there's a little ripple at the front and the, the joke is working its way backwards. <laughs> Um, I'm going to I'm going to kind of address the elephant in the room here now. The, I, I've got the easel here in the pad. Um, now the, this this here, and I apologise for anyone who's at a really awkward angle. Is, is everyone here familiar with the picture on the easel here? We've all seen this before, haven't we? So this, to summarise for those of you that haven't, because there were a lot, there was a lot of quiet there. This is the panel in the IKEA instructions for anything, which suggests that when you have trouble, you ring the store. Has anyone here had trouble and actually rung the store? Again, that's the kind of reaction I'm looking for here. It is the least used panel on any instructions ever. It's an entire waste of space. There's a man in an office in Malmo in Sweden who is sitting by a phone that never rings. <laughs> He's building sculptures out of blue tack and pencils, waiting, waiting for the day. Poor old Sven. So I thought to myself, <laughs> it's about the Swedishest name I knew. Um, is, is that an adjective, Swedishest? Uh, but I, um, I thought to myself, maybe I could come up with some more realistic alternative panels for it. So I've got this one here, <laughs> which is get angry and hit it with various tools. Um, then we've got drink heavily. <laughs> uh, I've done both the first two so far. Haven't achieved this next one yet. Let me know if you have. This is build it badly, have it collapse on you and get taken to A&E. <laughs> and then there's my favourite one at the end, which is... Uh, take the bastard thing to the tip and get shot of it. And you can see how happy the little Ikea man is there. Um, uh, yeah, thank you for pointing out. I did say I wasn't much of an artist. <laughs> i tell you what, next time I come, I'll make sure the perspective is nailed on just for you. Um, I, I, like to <laughs> I like to think of myself... Um, I'm going to close this now because you're all still looking at it. Thinking, who, what the fuck is that? Did his kids draw it? <laughs> um, if I put glitter on it, would that have made it better? I've got loads of that. Yeah. Um, I, I like to think of myself as a fairly liberal person in general. Um, I, uh, I got annoyed the other day with a friend of mine who uh, he said to me, Adam, uh, I'm fed up living in a PC world. And I thought to myself, 
you know, well, I, I, you know, I'm the kind of live and let live type person. You know, what's wrong with showing a little bit of respect and uh, you know trying to get along with people? He said, he said to me, Adam, no, no, you you got it all wrong. I'm just tired of hiding in the printer section until everyone's gone home. <laughs> That's another one to think about. Um, <laughs> I, the, the corporate world, though, is, 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 a, is they, have, they have a lot of power in the corporate world these days. Um, is, any, is everyone or anyone familiar with the book 1984 by Orwell? Yeah. yeah. So we're familiar with the concept of Big Brother. Orwell describes him in his book as a man in his mid-40s, rugged, handsome look, uh, big black mustache. Well, I thought to myself, have, having read that, I've seen that before. And it occurred to me that I give you <laughs> Big Brother. War is peace, ignorance is strength, freedom is salt and vinegar. <laughs> so there we go. Julius Pringles is looking down on me as I make IKEA furniture in room 101. Um, yeah, I, uh, what have I written on my hand? Bollocks. Um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't write bollocks on my hand. That would be strange. <laughs> I'm kind of uh, written Tourette's. Um, I, um, I, I've mentioned my couple of kids. Um, I've just got out of the stage now where the youngest one stops kind of coming into the room in the middle of the night. You know, you have nights where it gets to five in the morning, he's had you up three times since midnight, and you just become dimly aware of some footsteps coming towards you in the dark. And you open your eyes and you see these demonic red ones shining back at you. And um, as, as you kind of come to in the half-light, you think to yourself, you just in that moment before you're properly human, you think to yourself, would it be the worst thing in the world if I knocked him on the head, rolled him up in a carpet, and threw him off a bridge? Now, of course, a millisecond like later, you come to and you think, no, God, no, you, you can't do that. That's, that's, that's our order. You just can't. You don't have any spare carpet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've done my time <laughs> for that as well, by the way. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you all very much. I've been Adam Tumber. Thank you. Thank you.